So, My Hero Academia Vigilantes Manga Chapter 115 has officially released, and let's just say that this was a massive chapter. Pun intended, because what we get in this chapter is nothing short of a David versus Goliath fight. If David had the ability to slide on the ground and Goliath with a literal blazing inferno monster with his skull exposed. Yeah, this is a wild chapter and we'll talk about it right after this. Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Mongman Drew, and I'm here to do my review of My Hero Academia Vigilantes, manga chapter 115, titled Conclusion. And from what we see in this chapter, uh, yeah, the fight is coming to an end, as we have been saying over the past few weeks, but I promise you, it is going to be the case this week. You're going to see why in this chapter, because Pretty much what this chapter is, is what we've seen over the last few chapters, the fight between Koichi and number six. But the difference is that uh, Koichi gets really, really messed up in this fight, and we get to see a new form of number six. And for the most part, we are coming towards the end of this fight, and most likely the end of this story. And you'll see why in a second. And before we get right into the review, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't done so, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like I've said in the past few videos, I hit a thousand subscribers. So so if you like this type of content and want to see more of it, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can see this channel grow so I can tell you or you can tell me that you like this type of content so that we can grow this channel even more. Does that make sense? I bet it does. And without the way, let's get right into the review. So we actually start off the chapter with Koichi literally being blown back by the explosion. Last chapter, we saw number six combining with the anonymous Nomu villains and the bomber cells began to fuse together, come together and send the skull of number six flying at Koichi. We thought that that was the attack, but no, because something else is coming up. Because as we see in the next few pages, as we get the title of this chapter, Conclusion, we have the vestige image of all for one, pretty much saying that the bomber cells from the anonymous have come together to fuse into a new being of number six and how this new being is a representation of number six's true ideals of the world and, and what it means to be a true hero as we see these flaming bodies begin to swirl together, combine together as the flames rise up and we just see Koichi looking at the situation and is like, huh, it seems as if the bomber villains blew themselves up. I should probably get out of the way because like I don't want to be swallowed up by that blast as we see the skull of number six just rocketing up from the flames as it also begins to take shape of a giant creature with a flaming fist flying at Koichi. Luckily enough, Koichi is able to avoid it, but he hits the ground hard and it equates that hit to a wrecking ball, but he's like, luckily enough, I was able to avoid it with the skin of my teeth. Oh, he looks down at his foot and realizes, oh, my foot is broken as he has to go up against this literal raging kaiju. And ironically enough, as he looks at his leg being busted, uh, the giant kaiju literally uses the right leg, which in the scene, Koichi's, I believe, right leg is busted. Yeah. His right leg is busted and he's about to be squished by the right foot of this giant monster. But luckily enough, he's able to avoid that attack as well. Unfortunately, a giant rock slams and breaks his left arm. Okay, so uh, many people believe that Koichi may not have gotten a lot of battle damage in this fight. Um, this chapter is literally shown two of his four limbs being broken. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, he needs at least three parts of his body touching the ground for his quirk to activate. So um, he's pretty much screwed. Uh, the literal flaming monster Kaiju is going to punch Koichi and almost kill him. And while he's on the ground, he actually finds a third limb and it's called his butt. So yes, uh, because he is laying on the ground, which means that three points of his body are touching the ground, he's able to use his quirk to avoid the punch from this flaming Kaiju as he comes to his realization that I have to literally get out of here or this thing is gonna kill me and I need to hide in a building. And as he's hiding in the building, we literally see a blood trail 
leading to an abandoned building, an abandoned car lot, as you have Koichi coming to the realization of, my leg is busted, my arm is busted, my ribs are broken as well, I have bruises, burns, and scrapes all over my body, and I think I've lost a lot of blood. But hey, at least the helicopter is still around, which means that potentially All Might's gonna be here. Haha! <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully he gets here before I croak, but it's fine. So yeah, Koichi is not in the best state, and it doesn't help that he literally left a trail of blood allowing for the kaiju to find his location where he's hiding it as we once again have the all for one vestige image thing talking to number six and is saying like yeah you're gonna have a hard time finding this guy in this building he's really good about hide and seek but number six what's your next move as you have number six really contemplating his life and right now his life is literally nothing but burning fire that the pain that he's feeling is very reminiscent to when his body was on fire and how it's blinding heat and these and he's unable to breathe but that the only thing that's really hotter right now is the fire going off in his brain and how he's going to overheat and how this is going to be his internal fire bursting out from inside of him both symbolically and quite literally as we literally see number six destruction mode as his literal skull breaks open his skull is exposed the fire burns brighter on his kaiju body as black lightning skews and flows from his body okay let's be real no matter how long this fight has been going on number six's transformations are freaking amazing he looks so menacing in this image that and i can forgive this entire chapter only for the main reason that this monster, this kaiju exists in this story, and I love it. So yes, number six literally becomes a kaiju as you have all for one reminiscing about uh, his old chub and how this is how it's going to conclude and you've reached it. Now, just smash this machinations to the dust and ash with your overwhelming violence as we literally see this monster crashing into the building with full funch, seemingly killing Koichi. Now, is Koichi dead? I don't think so. Is All Might gonna come to the rescue since we see him in a panel in silhouette? Most likely, but does this indicate that he's actually on his way? We have no idea. So, when it comes to this chapter of My Hero Academia Vigilantes, it's what we've been getting for the past, oh gosh, few months. Just a lot of action, a lot of dialogue from All for One, and a lot of explanation for how number six is working, which, to be honest, for a final fight that has lasted this long, and it may be due to the fact that My Hero Academia Vigilantes is a bi-monthly thing, and yes, bi-monthly does mean twice a month or every two months, but still, We've at least seen a lot of cool action in this story, and I mean, to be honest, that's what I'm really here for right now. Just seeing a lot of cool action from Vigilantes, as well as getting to see the end of the story for the characters that I've grown to love and care for throughout the entire series. So, no matter how this story ends, and it's going to eventually end, I'm still going to enjoy it because I'm really enjoying the ride. Getting to see a lot of action from number six, getting to see Koichi find his ways out of these situations, and just hopefully seeing how this is going to end, which hopefully is going to end with Koichi being alive and having a very, very emotional reunion with Pop Step, and then they eventually uh, get together and grow old. So that's my hopes for the end of this series. But when it comes to what's going to go on next chapter, like I said, most likely Koichi survives his explosion in one way or another, either with the help of his friends or the fact that he may not have been in the building and the blood trail was sort of kind of a trap. And eventually All Might's gonna come to the rescue and save the day because that's what All Might does and that's what he's always done, not just in this series, but in My Hero Academia proper. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about this chapter. So what do you think is going to happen in the next chapter? And did you enjoy this chapter? Leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as hit that notification bell to be notified for whenever I upload more content like this. Do all that cool jazz, and hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video. Goodbye! Huh.